Hey guys, today's video is going to be very very interesting because we are going to make something like this. Though it's a very very funky and silly video but uh, in this single video you will learn about a lot of features of the all new Filmora 12 like masking, animation, cool stickers like this. So let's get started. Before I create this from scratch, let me show you what are the layers you will need. First of all, uh, this one is the original video, then comes the cat video I have shown you. This is for masking the desert part of this video so that it covers the cat rising from the horizon. So next comes the clock and different effects I have shown you. Last at the top layer we will mask this running person. We will come in front of the text, the cat and the horizon. So let's get started. Once again I am using Filmora 12 by Wondershare. You can find the download link of this software in the description of this video. First we will need the base video that is the person running so I can simply search run on the stock media and this is the video I have used which is uh, found under pixels free stock media library. Let me zoom in a little bit so I have double clicked the media file on the timeline and using the scale option to zoom in and this is the video we will be using finally. Let me also clip the video a little bit at the beginning and also at the end by clicking on this scissor icon that is the clipping tool. So let me show you the full original video what we will be doing here. So a guy is running here and uh, it's a very cool video so the first thing we will need to do is you know uh, create a copy of this clip so Control C and Control V. Let me hide the video layer 1. Now on the video layer 2, uh, we will be masking this desert part. The beauty of Filmora 12 is everything is powered by AI and smart tools which cuts down your efforts by up to 90%. So by double clicking this clip, I can find the mask option. Now this masking tool is uh, applicable for static videos or images mostly, not for videos. Let me show you why uh, I am selecting the part with the desert and let's see what happens. So this happens because the video was not static and uh, this is not doable here. So let me remove this effect. I can do it by right clicking and then delete effect. As you can see, there is something called AI tools just beside the mask menu. So you have this smart cut out. Click here and a new window will open. Now simply click on the desert part or maybe draw on the part you want to mask and with the help of artificial intelligence the software will detect the part but in this case it's going to be a little bit tricky because uh, there is a guy that is running on the desert so uh, you have to manually adjust some of the maskings. Uh, let me first try and see what happens. So click here to start the smart cut out process. So, so far it's doing good. And uh, as you can see, as the guy is running, the smart cut out is actually adjusting to its uh, fit. So uh, we will manually adjust that later. Let's wait for the process to finish. You need to manually adjust some maskings in this video when necessary so let's pause here and uh, it's better to zoom in using this hand tool and scrolling into the video so click on the plus pencil icon to add masking use the eraser for any kind of errors so that's how you do it you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard for the next frames so keep doing it you can click to start smart cutout again. Uh, the situation will improve but again uh, it will not be accurate so better to do it manually. 
we can just do it for the middle part of the video because the cat will be rising from this part only so let's do it one by one it's done so let's save it and that's how you can mask different parts of the video and uh, this is how you can change sky of any video like you can add a time lapse of uh, moving clouds which will look really really cool here now let's find the weird cat uh, from the stickers tab the name of this cat animation is make everyone thankful element 29 drag and drop this uh, sticker now it should be at the second layer the masked desert should go up uh, so that it can cover the cat rising at the horizon so let's do it i'm explaining everything to you step by step so that a beginner can use this software without any kind of issues uh, let me resize it and place it at the right place now let's also slow down the video using this uh, speed tool i can also manually adjust the speed by clicking on this blue bar at the top now let me show you how to animate the cat rising up double click and animation there i have slide up so drag and drop i can adjust the keyframe for the timing of the animation so let's see how it looks perfect once again let's copy and paste the original video at the top layer now we need to mask that is cut out only the person here and there are two ways to do it the most interesting thing is there you have this AI portrait option that is if there is any portrait or a person in the video the software can automatically detect that person and do the cutout for you it works better with a close-up portrait with a face but still let's try it and show you how it works so with a single click uh, we have done it and uh, i will not use it because uh, it's not good enough let me show you how it actually looks with all the layers so that's how it looks not bad at all it's a very tricky situation so we will do it using smart cutout the procedure is basically same as before that is simply click on the subject and the software will uh, smartly uh, select this person throughout the video in fact you could have you know add this person to the smart cutout i did before with the desert that is the desert and the person could be in the single layer but i wanted to show you the ai portrait option so uh, this is the way you do it of course there will be slight deviations in the maskings which you have to manually rectify so i will zoom in and check different frames do the adjustments and i can also change the brush size the edge thickness which is very very important actually you can also obviously adjust the edge feather it's time to add the countdown timer the name of the timer is countdown pack element next resize and place at the right place now from this point i want this countdown clock to follow this man so i will do motion tracking let's split the clock and uh, on the very first layer that is on the original video i will motion track the person so there is this motion tracking key on the toolbar let me first uh, hide the upper layers and you need to specify what to track so let's move the box on the person once it's done click here to start the motion tracking it's done now link the element that is the countdown clock let me show you what it looks like now there you go
Lastly, let's add the glowing ring around the person which can be found under effects. The name is dynamic ring with AI portrait one. That is, it will uh, select the portrait on the video and add the ring around the person. So that's a really, really cool effect. There you go. The attributes of the effect can be changed like uh, I can set the intensity and opacity to maximum and also resize that is scale it change the color and it will be better to put it at the top layer how cool is that with filmora 12 you can do crazy stuff like this this is the tutorial that teaches you a lot of things. I hope that it was useful. If you think so, definitely subscribe to Gadgets Portal because I will be making regular Filmora 12 videos on this channel. I have added a transition effect at the clock in the beginning. So this is how the video looks finally. To be honest, I really enjoy using this software because of these awesome cool features. For more videos like this, check the description of this video for the Filmora 12 playlist. That's all for now. Thanks a lot for watching.